and welcome to today's segment of The Power of Money. I'm your host, Michelle Graves, affectionately known throughout the United States. For the past 30 plus years, I'm telling my age now, trying to educate and empower my viewers on finances, health, um, spiritual issues as it relates to finances and health, um, and bringing on innovative and progressive trailblazers to talk about subjects that you need to know about, hopefully to enlighten you, to educate you, and to empower you and your families. Today is no exception. I have a remarkable gentleman in the studio today as my guest for the next hour uh, to talk about health issues, lifestyle issues, and spiritual issues as they relate to one's health. He's a gentleman that I have known for well over 30 something years, I would say. Uh, and I have, um, I was delighted to reacquaint with him at a uh, presentation in Cincinnati uh, where Dr. Clement came up from the Hippocrates Health Institute and spoke with us for well over two hours about issues facing this country uh, that left us all saying, oh my God, we must do better. So. I saw him, he saw me, it was a wonderful reacquaintance, and I told him, I need you to come on my show and to help my viewers to begin to take control of their health life, which will affect their um, mind processing. So without further ado, my guest today is Rick Howard, and he is the CEO of Genesis Health, uh, a 16-year-old company uh, that is in Liberty Township, Ohio, and um, he's an herbalist and an herbalist for herbalists, uh, offering consultative services as well as uh, personal uh, practi practitioner services for people that have health challenges. Rick Howard. Glad to be here, Michelle. It's been a long it time. It's been too long. I know, but I'm so delighted to see where your head is at. <laughs> Well, I'm glad you can see it. I can definitely <laughs> see it. You wouldn't have been at that presentation no. if you were not on that path. So tell me a little bit about what you're doing and what got you into this and uh, so that my viewers can be enlightened. Well, you, as you know, years ago. Years ago. Years don't tell ago. my age. You, you, don't, don't, I'll don't. tell mine and okay. you can telling yours. <laughs> but uh, some years ago, I was... Uh, wholeheartedly invested into graphic design, marketing, business mm -hmm. development, that type of thing, and I loved it. it and you were no, so good at it. I loved yes. it. I mean, I thought, God, thank you. <laughs> I, I, I mean, you people, branded me as the few, money lady. Few people have a, a career that they love. Right. So I loved it. Right. Okay. Uh, and, and you and, did a and, great and, job. And it was going great. Uh, I even worked after a while in my pajamas. Oh my God. <laughs> people would come and say, oh, I want you to do this. I say, okay, let me think about that. <laughs> <laughs> so I love that. And then all uh, of a sudden, it seemed to me in my life, God said, I want you to do something else. And I'm like, really now? Me? <laughs> me? <laughs> oh no, he's over there. <laughs> He said, no, you. Oh. And uh, so it was really a calling for How'd me. How'd you feel when he pulled you like that? Strange. Strange. I, I tell you, <laughs> it was like, what? <laughs> but when you know God's voice to you, mm -hmm. then there's no doubt. It, right. I mean, it, it, it felt to me like when he, how it must have felt to Abraham when he said, take your son and kill yeah, your yeah, son. Yeah, yeah, yeah like, like uh, really? Hello? hello? <laughs> you know, hey, hello? I, I was a little uh, taken uh, back. Yes. Uh, I didn't know, I mean, I, I didn't know what I considered anything more about health than anybody else. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, I was a vegetarian. Okay. Uh, I, I became a vegetarian in um, 1975. Okay. So I've been a vegetarian, I guess, by the end of this year, uh, 41 years. Yes, you're okay. a vegetarian. Yeah. Definitely. So I'm a mm -hmm. vegetarian. And, mm -hmm. um, but I didn't know. But it was through a process of his leading and 
it was so strange because he taught me. Okay, I'm going to tell you tell something. Tell me about I, this. I'm going to tell you something because that's critical. For a long time, I did not know how to talk about that with people. Mm -hmm. Okay, what school you went to, mm -hmm, what this, mm -hmm, that, and mm -hmm. the other. That's the way people mm -hmm. deal with learning, education. Mm -hmm. And when people would say, who taught you these, these things? things? And I would say, um, uh. <laughs> Uh, you know, how do you tell when you're talking to, and I've done seminars for... I saw uh, your profile all, all over so, the world. All over I places. Mean. I mean, I was in <laughs> Germany, you know, uh, Holland or Canada or, you know, doing stuff. And for a long time, I, I, I was tongue-tied. I didn't know what to say. God uh, taught me. <laughs> well, you know... Uh, God taught me. And they say, well, yeah, 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 yeah. But, but, but tell me where more. did you really right, learn? Right, right, right. I'm like, mm, that's where I learned. <laughs> and they, you know, they didn't, but I'm more comfortable with that now because uh, I have learned that all education is really about experience mm -hmm. and directives, mm -hmm. okay? We take our directives, it might be from a PhD program mm -hmm. that gives you a directive, but unless you have any experience, it means nothing. It means nothing. As you young see. people are finding out today. Yeah, they have that they degree. They have the degree or they, multiple, but, but they no don't have a clue. No opportunity, no, no anything. Right. So God just took me and said, I'm going to give you the most potent thing I can give you is my guidance. And my directives. Mm -hmm. And you listen. And then as you follow me, mm -hmm. you'll gain an experience. Well, you do know my previous guest was Ron Todd. Right. Who talked about God is his CEO. Powerful, powerful man. And and um, this is just what he was talking about. Well, for me, I, 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 I saw that show and I was like, Whoa. okay, I, can, I like this. <laughs> I like this. Well, because uh, when it comes to uh, health and learning and all of this stuff, everybody's hung up on the science of things. Mm -hmm. But who or how can you gain more than the creator gave You himself? can't. It's just a matter of gaining his experience, mm -hmm. his direction, and then as you gain that understanding, and I'll give you a quick example. Okay. Just, just okay. Yeah, we're going. Ahead. Okay. All I right. I mean, I think um, I was in Minnesota doing some seminars, and um, a young man came to me and he said, um, "My wife is in the hospital. Can you come? Because they're struggling. She's struggling. We can't." She had had. She was only what 38, and mm -hmm. she had had her third back surgery. This was oh. her third back surgery. And she was in pain, unbelievable. So they were using Percocets, mm -hmm. they were using morphine, mm -hmm. and they had given her more and more morphine, Ativan, trying to stop this pain. Mm -hmm. Turning Nothing. her into a dope Nothing addict. Nothing worked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the oh. worst thing. Oh. She was still in excruciating pain. She was loopy mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. itching besides. Mm -hmm. So she's scratching mm -hmm. and in pain. Mm -hmm. And so he said, can you see if there's anything you can do? And I said, okay. So I came. I looked at her hand. I looked at her face. Mm -hmm. I looked at, you know, I said, oh, I think I know the problem. And he said, Who you do? do? <laughs> and he said, what? I said, she needs a smoothie. <laughs> and you, you should have I seen know, I, I mean, he was trying to control I know. <laughs> He needs How, a smoothie. I said, she needs a smoothie and she needs a drink. And he was like, okay. Okay. And so I wrote down, I said, you take this, go to the grocery store uh -huh. and get these things and make this drink and make this smoothie and give it to her the way that I'm saying. And, and tell me said, what happened, please. So okay. she was... Like I said, in so much pain, they oh, were giving God. her super high doses of morphine mm -hmm. just to try to quell the pain, and it wasn't working. Mm -hmm. 
So he went and got this smoothie ingredients, made the smoothie, made this little drink. He gave it to her. The next day, 90% of her pain was gone. Stop. The next day, she was pain-free. Stop. No medicine. Stop. At home, washing, washing dishes. Washing dishes. Stop. At her, standing at her sink. Standing at her sink. No pain. Washing dishes. So I'm saying, the doctors were like, what is confused this? Uh, because that they were. that's what I mean. See, if you have a degree and you have, but you have no, or the wrong directives, right? And then you have no, no a guidance or experience, mm -hmm. then your degree is worthless. See, your your information can't tell you how something from the grocery store could stop pain better than morphine. Percocets and these things, you see. Mm -hmm. So for me, um, that's one part of my experience with God is let me teach you, let me guide you, mm -hmm. let me give you an experience that nobody can take away from you. Now, I am, you know, working on a naturopathic doctorate. I mean, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, um, I mean, I think that's okay. Uh, it's okay. I probably got, you know, more books on health than anybody that mm -hmm, I know of, mm -hmm. and uh, you know that experience uh, has helped me as well. Just having that, but the greatest thing that I have learned is to take God's guidance from the scriptures, mm -hmm. and then apply that to therapy. Okay, with Predictable outcomes. With very predictable, predictable outcomes. outcomes. You see? If, if I might deviate just a minute because, and no disrespect to allopathic right. medicine, which is cut them up, dice them up, drug them up, and throw them under the bus. I absolutely believe that most doctors are well-intentioned. I do too. But I do feel that they have been programmed in this culture, the Western culture, more so than Asia, and other cultures, even Europe, to a dynamic that is actually at cross purposes to the highest and best internal construct of human beings. Well, I think that that is um, kind of a critical thing that you just mentioned there because in order for us to really gain a proper understanding of health, you have to go back to the roots. Mm -hmm. that God created man in his own image and then after his likeness. So he also gave instructions. The first mm. commandment that God gave to man after revealing his purpose, his purpose was what? Be fruitful, fruitful multiply, and multiply. Mm -hmm. replenish the earth. That was his purpose which didn't have to do with sex. Right, right, okay. not at all. I, I no, wanna, no, no, I'm clear, I'm clear. You know, because Replenishing means when to he make says full again. be fruitful, he means find something good to do. Woo, multiply, multiply it. it. And then fill the earth with it. Oh my God. You see what I'm saying? Oh my God, so ah, that, so this is that good. Is this being is good. Fruitful. That's Finding instruction some, that's to instruction. every young person and old person. Did you Find just hear that, viewers? Good to do. Find something good to do. Multiply, Multiply it. Become good at it. Gain an experience at it. Then fill the earth. You, you have an empire, so to speak. Yes. Fill the earth. That's the dominion, filling the earth with good things. But anyway. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, Can I take another awesome man in here <laughs> talking to me about God? But Woo! you see something, here's, yes. the, here's the, but the first command that he gave to mankind was about eating. Look at that. Most Look. people don't think food and eating is very important. Oh, I believe in God. <laughs> oh, I'm saved. Don't, oh, no, this. Oh, no cerebral, but please. yet, the first thing God told Adam and Eve about was eating. Mm. So how much importance was God putting on what you eat and how you eat? And there was no sin in the world yet. Right. Oh. Well, tell me what he said for the benefit of our viewers. He said, 
He said, first of all, you may freely eat of all these things that I have created, mm -hmm. which, which says a lot because he didn't say eat anything you want. Mm -hmm. He said, you may freely eat of these trees, of these things, mm -hmm. and he defined their diet, okay? Okay. He even told the animals, where he, this is Genesis 1, 29, mm -hmm. 130. He even told the animals. The animals couldn't eat what they wanted. He told them what, what to, to eat. eat. But then he said, but the tree over there mm -hmm. of the knowledge of good and evil, notice it was mixed. Mm -hmm. It wasn't just good evil it was good something looked good about it but something what was evil about it was he said don't bother God it. don't bother it so if there is a directive from God that says do not touch something do not eat something even if I have no scientific evidence mm -hmm. of why I should not I should leave it alone I should not touch it they did not get in trouble till they ate the way God said, don't eat. Oh, no. So my purpose for people in physical health, mental health, moral health, and I combine those things. I like see, that, physical, mental, mental and, and moral. moral. You have three powers, why? Because we're made in the image of a triune God. God, yes, Father, Son, Son and, and the Holy, Holy Spirit. Spirit, yes. So, Three and one. Right. So that has to be reflected in my and, uh, life. Yes. Physical, mental, moral. Three and one. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any one of those dynamics that are left to fall to the floor is going to ruin my life. Mm. Think my about God. it. No, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm there. Physically. Right. You could be as rich as you want to be, but if you're sick and you die, all your riches... All your intelligence is worthless. Or mentally, mm -hmm. you have all the money, you, but you, you can't think. You can't, oh, wow. Right. It's over with. It's all over with. Alzheimer, Alzheimer, so dementia. Morally, okay. though, let's say you have the greatest intellect. You have all the money, material success. Mm -hmm. But morally, you have no mooring no mm, bearing, mm, 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 mm. then your life is going to be shattered. So all three of these dimensions of power must come together to make a successful life. And that's why so many people are failing, because they live a one-dimensional life, mm -hmm. or at best a two-dimensional mm -hmm. life. But not a not three. not a three-dimensional life. Mm. I, I appreciate... I, this is powerful. Are you all learning something here? I am. This is what you just, what you have said in the short time we have talked is life changing. This is life changing. Well, I think it's, this I, is I, life -changing. I, I put it this way, it's life transforming. Okay. See? Okay. Change is easy. Everybody changes. That's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> you see, I'm good this day. I'm only going to eat this. I'm only going to do this. I'm not going over there anymore. Mm -hmm. But then tomorrow comes. Right, and then tomorrow and I change. change. And you change it? Oh, well, well I'm I only going to have one piece of this. <laughs> uh huh. See, but transformation means that I have a new set of directives. Okay. No longer is my directive to just satisfy what tastes good to me. Mm -hmm. My directive is, oh, I will only do what God says. I will only eat what God says. I will only live. Right. I will only think mm -hmm. what God says. I will only pursue what God says pursue. Now my, that's a transformation because now somebody could come to me and say, Michelle, do this. That's not on my directive. That's not on my to-do list. I'm not going to do that. No. Be see, now, quote, unquote, dieting goes out the window. Right. I have a way of life now. Now I eat for a purpose. 1 Corinthians 10, 31, since we were getting okay. into Scripture. Okay, yes, yes. Whether, therefore, you eat or drink or whatever you do, do all to, there's the directive. Right. Do all to the glory of God. 
So that's where, the where does the argument, <coughs> because obviously we both are focused on the quality of life having to do with your, uh, what you consume, and we don't have to talk about the American diet because it is frightening, it is scary, and um, I, I'm just trying to, to find an answer here for people that do recognize that they are obese, um, that they are out of control, that they're addicted, and we do know foods are infused with. Well, well, I, I think that I think that I, I look a little deeper at okay, this well. subject. I mean, I think um, when we talk about money, okay, okay, we we always say, well, most people think I'm going to win the lottery. <laughs> <laughs> They want it easy. Okay, okay, right, okay. Or I'm going to get a high-powered job. I'm going to be a lawyer mm -hmm, or a doctor mm -hmm, or something mm -hmm. that automatically brings me this money. Or I inherit it. Oh, that's even better. That's even better. And right? Betsy dies. And Betsy dies. And I get the Daddy, God bless his soul, he I left, left me, me a, a lot. lot of money. Okay. Okay. But remember, there are these three dimensions. Mm -hmm. So you don't just inherit money and things and resources. You also inherit a climate from your ancestors. Okay. You inherit their weaknesses or strengths. Mm -hmm. Your grandmother was a smoker. Your father was a smoker. And so he didn't make you a smoker, but he made you lean. In that direction. In that direction. Okay. So your choices now have to be made in light of my leaning. Mm -hmm. Or else I have a weakness that we'll makes me there. equally fall over. Mm -hmm. So now, but if I inherited strength, a good constitution, that inheritance will either bless or curse. And today they call that epigenetics. Uh, See? Exactly. In the scriptures, Exodus 20, he said, I'm, I'm, God, God is speaking and he said, I'm going to, he said, curse those to the third and fourth, fourth generation, generation. Mm -hmm. of those that hate me. Mm -hmm. Well, people say, well, I don't hate God. He doesn't mean emotion. Mm -hmm. He's saying, if you don't do what I instruct you to do, I equate that as hate. Hey, but he said, and blessing, showing mercy to thousands, to the third and fourth mm -hmm. generation of them that love me mm -hmm. and keep my commandments. Here's what he's saying. My health and the revelation of the, the viewer's health has to be seen from that perspective. I'm in my position because I inherited strengths or weaknesses. Mm -hmm. I inherited an environment of customs and habits that are either blessings or curses Crisis. to me. Oof. And then my choices cap off what these, you know, determined mm -hmm. was my direction. So even your genetics, your DNA, and this is something the viewers need to understand. Your genetics does not determine your outcome. Whoa. Your genetics determine your direction and your lifestyle and choices about lifestyle determine your destiny. That's that, epigenetics. That is very powerful. That's epigenetics. Right. So now there's this interplay mm -hmm between what I started with and what I choose and where I am, mm -hmm. that those three dynamics come together to make whether I'm health. Now let's put that in a practical way. Say I have arthritis. Okay. And my mother had arthritis yep. and my grandmother, grandmother has arthritis and they tell me, you know, my sister has arthritis and my brother has, so 
I'm going to have arthritis. arthritis. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the first thing I have to do is I ask most people, well, what is arthritis? Well, my bones hurt. Okay. Well, no. See, now this is going to flip the script on health for people. When you want to overcome a health weakness, you must spend, viewers, 70% of your energy, time, and resources on understanding the problem. Wow. Why? Okay. I've got arthritis. Yep. My knee is killing me. Mm-hmm. What is that? So if I take a pill and it stops my knee from hurting, mm -hmm. like they say on the television, take two of these, yeah, you know? Yeah, right. Okay. So I have a heart attack. if okay. I start doing that and I take a pill, I never know what caused me to get there in the first place. So I will keep doing the thing and I have to keep taking the two pills mm -hmm. to try to alleviate the pain. But let me show you something. Uric acid and urea buildup in the body is the cause uh -huh. of most people's bone deterioration. Mm. Do you know what controls your bones and the, the calcium and all of that? Your kidneys. Whoa. The kidneys. So oh, the kidneys okay. control the electrolytes and your blood pressure, by the way. So if the kid, so what impacts the kidneys? Now, the American Kidney Foundation did a study, okay, and we're talking about power. I'm not no, getting no, away no, from. No, 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 no. We're talking about you do power know. and knowledge. I just knowledge. came out of a kidney okay. situation. So this is what I'm saying. Okay. This is why I'm saying this. Okay, talk to me. They, the American Kidney Foundation, took 61 healthy young people. Okay. Okay. They put them on a high-protein diet, okay, low-carb diet. Okay. They said, we're going to do this for six weeks, see what the outcome okay. is. Okay. After two weeks, they had to stop. Because? Because of the damage done to their kidneys in two weeks. From the protein. From high-protein protein diets. diets. They said, bone loss. Whoa. Kidney dysfunction, um, high serum, serum, um, serum uh, blood mm -hmm, calcium mm -hmm, levels, mm -hmm. uh, so many other, acidification, pH change, all this in two weeks. From high protein. High protein. Meat-based protein or plant-based protein? Meat-based, okay. And we'll, let me explain okay. that, but let me just okay, finish this. Okay, well, let me finish this, it because I don't want to do yeah, it. This is too good. Because once they said, saw these changes, they said, oh, no, we can't go on like this. So they moved them to a moderate protein diet. Okay. Increasing some carbs back into the diet. Okay. So they did that for another four weeks. And? At the end of it, they said the effect of protein on the body, on the kidneys particularly, loss of calcium, Mm. it causes the kidneys and the body to pull out calcium from the bones mm -hmm. and get it out of the body, okay? Whoa. They said kidney function is greatly diminished by a high-protein diet, okay? Now, I want to explain something since we brought that up mm -hmm. because, again, we're getting to how do we get rid of this arthritis? Right. Well, if you don't know that a high-protein diet is going to be a root cause for your arthritis, then you'll take those two pills to give you temporary relief mm -hmm. when what God promised you was healing. Healing, right. Relief is not the same as healing. Not at all. Okay. Not at all. So if you didn't learn about those things, you'd keep doing the things that kept you there. Mm -hmm. And you'd be praying, Lord, heal, heal my heal arthritis. My, yeah, and, heal it's my, like, and you'll never know. So you have to, he said, my people, Hosea 4, 6, mm -hmm. my people scary. are destroyed mm -hmm. for what? 
Right. Lack of knowledge. knowledge. Mm -hmm. But that's where most people end the text. The text doesn't end there. Mm -hmm. What else does it say? It says, and because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject you. And because it says further on, and because you have rejected knowledge, I will also reject your children. <laughs> you see that generational yes, yeah. thing now? Mm -hmm. Because I'm doing what my parents did, and I don't learn to make different choices, more informed mm -hmm. choices. I'm going to repeat whatever weaknesses I inherited from them. Because you did not make In better, better informed choices. choices. You right. see? So I have to learn that if I have blood pressure problems, the first thing I have to ask myself is, okay, is there something causing the blood pressure that I can change? Well, I look in the mirror, I've got a boulder on my chest. Mm -hmm. So I don't need an herb, I don't need a pill or medicine, I need two friends to get this boulder off my <laughs> chest. Yes. And my blood pressure is gonna, gonna go. I don't need a pill. I need a Band-Aid, but I don't I need, need a pill, you see? Mm -hmm. So it's the same with every dynamic in our lives, mentally, morally. I have to first work from a basis of knowledge. Mm -hmm. That's the most important thing. So first, you determine the cause. Is there an immediate cause? My leg is hurting. Oh, I'm in a bear trap. Yeah. What herb do I need? You say, I don't need a herb. You don't need it. You need to be removed from I the get, bear trap. Hey, let's get this bear, bear trap, trap off, off my feet. Mm -hmm. Most people are causing their own problems with their health, yet they're looking for a solution in a bottle. And as long as you keep pursuing it that way, it's you'll never gonna end work. up in the same place over and over and over and over. Okay. Until I, ultimately your body, your cells, your little 50 trillion, do, trillion community makes a decision that we're out. We, well, they say we can't do this anymore. Yeah. We can't do this anymore. I'm sorry. I, I'm I, going to fail. fail. Yeah. Right? Yeah. So now the second thing is I have to, do I have a, a bad habit that's adding to this. Mm -hmm. So the boulder. On the chest. That might have been, you know, it fell from the roof. Okay. And landed on my chest. Uh -huh. Okay, I didn't plan that. that right. But it it's, it's happened there. to me, it's there. Right? right? Okay. Mm -hmm. So we get that off. But then I'm eating, you know, uh, pork rinds, potato no. chips, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, greasy bacon, whatever, whatever. Will that add some damage or will it add life to my body? You mm -hmm. see, I've got to look at, do I have habits? I'm drinking 12 beers a day. I'm mm -hmm. doing whatever Pop, these, I'm whatever. smoking. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't drink water. I don't like water. Yeah, yeah. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's the next thing is I've got to determine whether or not it's my own thing that's causing this mm -hmm. problem. Once I've done that, I've determined bad habits, mm -hmm. things that can change, then I, then I say to myself, well, okay, now once I've determined, first I said learn about mm -hmm. right. the thing. Right. Second, can I change some immediate thing? Third, is there a bad habit? And then fourth, so it's really 75% mm -hmm. of it is investigation. Right. Lastly, now can I assist nature? Now can I say, is there something I can take that will help me bring balance to my blood pressure? Why? Likely because of my kidneys. 95% of blood pressure. How much? 95% of blood pressure in this country the doctors call primary hypertension. Do you know what the official medical cause of that is? 
I have no idea. That's what, that's the right. I mean, I have no idea. No, that's right. Oh. <laughs> that's what the, that's the official the, 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 wait, medical. Wait, wait, wait. They have no idea. They have no idea. They have no idea. Oh that's the God. official Stop. medical Stop. cause Stop. is. Rick, come on. We have no idea. We have no idea. Five but they're giving you the, drugs. Oh, wait, come on wait now. Wait a minute. Wait See, a minute. That's violation of those little laws. See, first, what is hypertension? I ask people that all the time. Well, my pressure is high. Wait, listen. You step outside, and unbeknownst to you, there's the neighbor's Great Dane is loose. <laughs> and you didn't know. No, okay. And he's looking at you. <laughs> dinner, dinner time. Has what are you going to do? My heart, heart will start pounding, mm -hmm. my blood pressure will go up. Oh, wait a minute. Did that dog just give me <laughs> high blood pressure? And I'm running to get away from him? My blood pressure is going to be high. Blood pressure in that circumstance is intended to be high. To it's keep you moving. To keep you moving. It's a dynamic. So blood pressure is really not a disease. It is a, an indicator of, of something how else. how you're dealing with the dynamics of day-to-day -day life. Including stress. Any kind of stress. Kind I of, guarantee you that you, dog you, you, chasing you, 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 you is. That is stress. A, that's stress. So the Lord intended for the heart to be able to beat stronger. To give it you, creates more torque okay. so your legs can to move and you can get away from that dog. If it didn't happen that way, you would die. You couldn't move. Whoa. So high blood pressure in that case is not a disease, is it? That dog didn't give you a disease. Same thing with this, diabetes. It's the same issue. It's not a disease. It's a lifestyle? Diabetes, what they call diabetes. Okay, I'm gonna illustrate it okay, this way. Okay, please, you'll love you, this. You, you'll yeah, love I'm, this. I'm, I'm loving all of this. Look, you're in, we're sitting in the living room and you're You start smelling smoke. Mm-hmm. What is that? All of a sudden, the smoke detector goes off. Okay. Lights flashing, noise okay. it's making. Okay, uh-huh. Okay, so you call 911. The right. fire department right. comes. They said, Michelle, where is the smoke detector? You said, what? <laughs> they said, where's the smoke detector? And you said, well, it's right there. And they said, good, bring the ladder. They get up to your smoke detector, hack it out. The lights stop, the noise stop. They say, okay, we're good, we're gone. What's the problem? Uh, really? They didn't deal with the fire. They didn't deal with the fire. That's what happens with medication for diabetes or hypertension. They cut off the noise. Your Numbers go down, but, but the they left the fire there to the destroy the house. You see, so diabetes is really an emotional or a hormonal response just telling you how well you're digesting and how well you're metabolizing, mm -hmm. okay? okay? But guess at the end of that process, the kidneys are reabsorbing the sugar. If it can't, it goes out through the urine. Ah. If we would learn about our bodies, a lot of these things we think are mysterious are not. Are not. So let me ask you, because the traditional protocol for type 2 diabetes, which is where everybody is, this is an epidemic globally, period, has to deal with the body's inability to break down sugars efficiently because you are ingesting sugars? Here's the thing. Okay. Let's understand one thing, and this is going to be a shocker for most people. Okay. Okay, probably me too. <laughs> it's a I shocker. thought I was pretty I sharp. Mean, grab, grab hold of something. <laughs> okay. This is shocker. Your body, your muscle, your brain, 
only works on sugar. Huh. 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 Are you talking about glucose? Glucose. That's the only okay. thing it's going to work on. When people say, oh, I'm going to eat all protein. I don't want any carbs. Okay. So your body goes through this process called gluconization, mm -hmm. where it takes that protein. Guess what it does? No, they don't. It, it makes doesn't. It sugar, sugar out, out, of out of it. Because it only wants, your brain only wants sugar. sugar. So what's the issue here? Oh, no, I have to. It here. begs an answer. It yeah, begs an answer. Yeah. That's good. Now, see, now we're getting it because we're talking okay. about what this is. Type 2 diabetics are told your body doesn't produce enough insulin. But that's so wrong. That's the wrong idea. It's not a matter that your body is not producing insulin. It's just that the cell where this sugar is supposed mm -hmm. to be. Yeah, to charge the mitochondria. It mitochondri can't get right, in. It can't get in. So fiber is what God put in, in foods that greases the lock so, so that, that the insulin can open the lock. The insulin is the key so that the sugar can go where it's supposed to. To the mitochondria. So it gets so it inside gets a the shell. Pack. Right. So now it's no longer in the bloodstream. But if the door stays locked, then all what these you... sugar molecules saying, "Hey, let us in." Right. And it's building. Why your your sugar is rising now? Oh my God! Here's where a lot of natural people go wrong. You were never intended to control your blood sugar by how you eat alone so bad. Eat six small meals a day. Right, that's what that... Worst advice you could give. So what is the answer? I should call you Dr. Rick. Okay. First and foremost, understand the body. Okay, I'm going to give you a list. I'm going to read a list of things. Okay, because you've got to have to tell me. I, I, there's only seven things your body is trying to do. Mentally, morally, physically, physically, there's only seven things, okay? Okay. That's the first challenge. Okay. And I'm going to do deal with this from the physical standpoint. First is balance. Okay. Okay. First is balance. You want your blood pressure, you're trying to get it balanced. Okay. Your blood sugar, you're trying to get it balanced. Cholesterol, you're trying to get a balance because your body wants homeostasis. Mm-hmm. Desperately, okay. balance. Secondly, right. circulation. Without circulation, your body, you would die. Mm -hmm. Circulation of air, blood, nutrients, oxygen, waste. Mm -hmm. Circulation is the whole reason for everything. That's why the scripture says the blood is the life thereof, of mm -hmm, the body, mm -hmm. because it's circulating, carrying oxygen, carrying waste away, carrying nutrients. Circulation is number two. Number three is this two-tiered thing, digestion and metabolism. Okay. They're like seesaw. If digestion is down, metabolism is suffering. If, if one is way down, then the other one is suffering. Mm -hmm. They're two parts of the same thing. What I eat has to be metabolized for a reason. And what metabolized means simply is I take this sugar or whatever and move it in the body where it can be useful. Mm -hmm. If I cannot move it to the body where it is useful, it becomes a waste. Okay. And so the body tries to get rid of get rid of it. Of it. Okay, okay. You, you skip to seven. Oh, I'm sorry. No, but that's no, no, cool no, no. because okay. you see it now. I, I, you see I it. do. See, you're getting it. I if do. it's not useful, out. I don't want this. No, no. I, I've got a, a, a half a watermelon, but we just had seven watermelons. Mm -mm. I no, can't I eat can't this. Get, no. And I have. I, I'm not. Whew. That watermelon sits there. It's going to start to stink. It sits there, it's going to get soft and squishy. Mm -hmm. What are you going to do? Dump it. Waste elimination mm -hmm. is number seven. Number Okay, so we got the digestion and metabolism. Okay, which is? The seesaw. Yeah, the seesaw. But number four is the whole purpose for 
the blood sugar balance, movement. That is how you control your, that's how God intended for you to control your blood sugar. You weren't meant to sit and, and eat stuff all day and right. try to eat the right, right balance right, of stuff. Right, 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 and you're not moving. You're not moving. That's how you get your blood sugar under control is move. movement. It calls blood sugar from the bloodstream to the muscles through the liver in the form of glycogen. Mm -hmm. So they turn glucose into glycogen. Okay. Goes to the muscles. The muscle says, now I can pump. Yes. That's how they get that pump. It's right. not protein. It's movement. It's sugar oh that causes the pump. Oh, okay, oh, see, wow. now we're mm -hmm. seeing the more you move, the more you pump, the more sugar is used, your blood sugar stays. The other thing that most people don't do is blood sugar is just a comparison between the ratio of sugar to other solids in your body. So if you drink more water, the ratio of sugar goes down. What do you your, know? Your, so drinking drink water, tons of water lowers your blood sugar. Can I ask you, alkaline, does it matter? Well, here it does. Because I, I, I have eczema, and I cannot drink the water. I Here's drink alkaline. The, the, the thing is this. Alkaline water is beautiful, mm -hmm. but that's not how your body wants to keep itself alkaline. See, that's the point. Oh, my God. But you cannot recommend that I drink <coughs> sink water. Oh, no. no. Come on. No, Don't no, kill no, no, me. No, 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 no. Okay. But understand the mechanism. I got okay? it. Okay. Understand the mechanism. The mechanism, and I've got this thing. One of these days, you have to have me back. Oh, no, no, because, I'm not having because, you back because, because now you've got my. There is a, a, a model that I have, and we would have to show this on the screen. Well, we can. But it, it's a model. It's called the anatomy of a disease. And the two pillars that, okay, there's this seesaw we said was mm -hmm. digesting and metallic, right, right. but it rests on two pillars. The pillars, the liver mm -hmm. and, the, and kidney. the kidneys. The, but across this is the fulcrum, mm -hmm. right, is the thyroid, the pancreas, mm -hmm. And those are involved in what? Metabolism, Metabolism and digestion. Right. See, everybody thinks pancreas insulin. No. no. The pancreas' major job is digestion. Whew. See, we are sick because we have let other people define for us what our health is instead of taking the look at the creator's model and saying, oh, oh, that's how it's supposed to work. Mm -hmm. Now, let me let me just get mystical on you just okay, for a second. Okay, to show okay, you okay, okay. Old Testament. How many tribes of Israel were there? Well, there were, I don't know. Twelve. Twelve, correct. But those were God's people. Yep, absolutely. New Testament, how many disciples were there? But those were God's people. So mm -hmm. 12 disciples, 12, 12 tribes. tribes. Yes. 12 ribs on either side. Right. Old Testament. New, New Testament. Testament. Got it. Backbone that keeps my body standing straight. Mm -hmm. 24 bones. 12, 12 and 12. 12. Going from my body, spinal cord, to the brain to do all communication, 12 pair, I mean two pair of 12, 12. cranial nerves going, Whew. wait, how could how, we? He loves those 12s. He is showing you something. Yeah, we are, we, we, we are. We are made in his image. Right, we're the you temple. See? But now I can take those things that I learned from scripture and show you exactly to make it a therapy. Whew. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, I do. So that's on a that's on a whole, whole nother, nother level. level. Finish but, up those but, points. But but the movement. Mm -hmm. That's why almost every plan that we have is about 
people saying you got to exercise. You got because exercise is the great right. balance. Right. Okay. It I got that. that balance back right. to number one. So quickly, I'll go. Movement, then respiration. Now, respiration, we think of, yeah. and that's part of it because that's how we getting rid of mm -hmm, waste, mm -hmm, breathing mm -hmm. it out. But cellular respiration on a cellular level is how we take food in and how well we deal with mm -hmm. it and how well we get rid of the waste. So that's respiration. Then restoration, sleep. Yeah. But now I'm going to tell you something important. I'm going to do this real quick. Unless your body only produces growth factor, human growth factor, mm -hmm. at two times, if you're vigorously exercising uh -huh. or if you're in a, a good sleep between 9 and 1 a.m. Whoa. That sleep between 9, 9 and, and 1 a.m., 71% of your human growth hormone that repairs your body mm -hmm. happens. So if you're not asleep. Between 9 a, p.m. and 1 a.m. Then you're losing it. You've oh just my God. blown the opportunity. Okay. Because I'm up at 4 mm -hmm. for my for prayer time. Fourth watch. I'm up. Right. Been for 20 okay. plus years. I'm up. Okay. But now you're telling me 9 to 1. Ooh, Ooh wait, now you're getting now, ready to do something. Now we're doing something. So that last thing, and this is for the whole entire life, is waste elimination. You it out. will die. They call it sepsis. They have Ugh. all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. If your body does not get rid of waste, eczema is your body's attempt to help you by getting rid of waste. If it's, the kidney's not working well, mm -hmm. the skin is the second kidney. It comes through the skin. <gasps> so getting rid of eczema is not a topical thing. It's getting your kidneys working better to get rid of the waste through the channel that is preferred. Then you get rid of eczema by allowing the waste elimination to go through the channels that he determined from the first place. That's the same way with your whole life. Morally, we call it sin. sin yes. You don't get rid of sin out of your life, that's waste that's gonna eat, eat your you life alive. alive. Viewers, I'm going to have Rick back <laughs> because I am, I'm, I'm in this. I hope that you have learned a few things. Rick, give them your phone number real quick. 513-571-9210 uh, is my cell number. My office, 513-755-2019. Uh, you need to know your phone yeah, number. That, well, I don't okay. call my office. I was going to say, okay, okay, <laughs> okay, I got that. And, uh, but send me an email, rickbhoward at gmail.com is a quick way to get me. And I'm just going to say I'm outdone between Ron Todd on my first show awesome. and Rick Howard awesome. on my second show. And I'm going to have Rick back for part two because this <laughs> is just too much. I am just done. I hope you've enjoyed this segment of The Power of Money as always. Be empowered, and most importantly, be blessed. I'm Michelle Graves. See you till the next time. You take care.